Hello. Welcome back to the channel. This is Claw Nation Station here, and I am playing um, Resident Evil Zero. I'm doing a different playthrough this time, um, and we're going to do no healing, no saving, being all the bosses with Rebecca, and we're going to get S rank. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And let's continue on. Let's go ahead and hit load game. And um, when we click load game, we're going to um, do the save file that we did Leech Hunter in so we could get unlimited ammo. So that's what we're going to do. So pick the one that you did with um, Leech Hunter. Don't pick the other one. Um, do the one that you say that they're doing Leech Hunter and you hit once again. Um, if you hit restart, you're going to have to restart the whole thing. So you're going to do once again. Ha, act. I got a new mic, so that's probably why I sound different. I'm testing out this new mic. If you guys don't like it, just let me know. Um, but you might hear stuff in the background, but I'm just testing this out and see how great this mic is. Um, first, drop everything. We don't need nothing besides our gun. And we're going to keep Rebecca's gun because we have to combine it with the custom parts because we did that with Billy's gun last time. So this time we're doing it with Rebecca's gun because that counts towards the weapon trophy. And we should get the weapon trophy just like every other trophy at the end of this. Um, shoot that one. Don't worry about the other ones. You will get a chance to kill them um, with the magma that we're going to get. Yeah, we're going to get the magma. The magnum, I meant. Magnum. And the magnum is in this one, 202. And this only appears once you complete Leech Hunter. So, there we go. We got the magnum. And we're going to equip the magnum. Perfect. And the Magnum is completely um, infinite, so infinite ammo right there. And we're going to pick up this key, and two dogs are going to appear. We're just going to fire away at them. Um, doesn't matter because we have unlimited ammo. And once the music stops, the dogs are dead. So let's continue onward to Billy. And any zombies you see, just kill. Um, especially if they're in the way. We have plenty of time. Um, we just have to beat the game under 3 hours and 50. 3 hours and a half. Um, to get the s rank. So after killing those zombies, we're going to continue on. And we're going to meet up with Billy. That tattoo convict. Right in here. Unlock that door. If you watch my other playthroughs, I did a playthrough where I got all the files, all the keys, and almost all the weapons. Um, all the weapons that's in game. Because um, there's one more weapon we need besides Rebecca's custom handgun. And that's the um, rocket launcher, which we get when we get S Wing. Now instead of running away from this, we're going to just shoot him. Two shots should suffice. And since we're using Rebecca to kill all the bosses, Billy's going to go up the ladder this time. Because we need her to kill the scorpion boss. So let's have Billy go all the way up the ladder. Yeah, get rid of his knives, his ammo. Um, we're going to keep that for a little bit. Um, the submachine gun, which you get when you get a rank in um, the previous playthrough. Through. If, you didn't, if you don't have it, it means you didn't get the a rank. But that's fine. You can keep on using this pistol. We're not going to use Billy that much in this playthrough. We're going to be using Rebecca. And I am saying that this is a no healing run too. 
I do get all the trophies at the end with um, no healing. Um, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I am going to do Vesco mode next, and I count that as a no healing one also. Just showing you that if you can't do it on this playthrough, you can do it on the next one. Now we're going to be connect the cables. I just think it's easier with this one just because um, you, have you have infinite ammo. Um, so that's why I did it like that. But I also did a no healing one with Resco mode. So check that one out once I publish it after this um, playthrough. And then there will be one more playthrough after that which is hard mode. So that's just the order that I did it in. Give Rebecca the key. So I don't grab any herbs in this one because I'm showing you that you can beat this without healing. But it's no big deal if you can't because it is no saving also. Um, and Wesco mode we do save and especially hard mode. So this is just the no saving run. This is the mainly the no saving run. I know I talk a lot. I'm just trying to explain so you guys don't get confused. And not worry about getting it perfect um, like I am in this playthrough. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and use the key up the train. Once you enter this door, we're going to go ahead and grab this briefcase. Yeah, this briefcase right here. Perfect. And now we're going to go ahead and lower the ladder. We're about to go fight the scorpion boss, why don't ya? Let's climb this handy dandy ladder to our next destination. And if you hear noise in the background, it's actually my dishwasher going. So hopefully it's not annoying, but hopefully you guys can't tell. You probably can now since I mentioned it, but oh well. And we're going to go into this door and we're going to get ready to fight the, sc the scorpion. So go ahead and take this um, ice pick and we're gonna go ahead and enter this door and fight the scorpion and with her um, it should be pretty easy with the magnum this is the part where people will decide if they want to do no healing or with healing back up when he's about to charge at you and shoot right here not completely at the door just shoot right there because you will back up to the door anyways and the scorpion's down and if you're too close to the scorpion the scorpion will hit you and then you will lose some health um because rebecca doesn't have a track record of having great health um after that we're gonna go ahead and fight well we're gonna go ahead and pick up this opener this hatchet opener and we're gonna go all the way over there back to where Billy is
Okay, now we can go ahead and place the ice pick in here. Yeah, place that good ice pick. And we're going to lift that up. And then we're going to switch back to Billy. And we're going to grab this handy dandy ice pick and use it on our door. The arm picket. Perfect. Let's go ahead and use it right now. And now we're going to just bypass these guys and go ahead and meet up with Rebecca. And this part's only going to be in two parts, not like the last time where it was in six parts. It's because we're really, on um, the next one that's going to be in six parts is hard difficulty. The next two are going to be in practically two parts. So we're going to go ahead and use this. We're going to be rushing through this pretty fast. Come in as a team if you want, just leave that. Keep a hold of Rebecca's handgun at least. Don't um, have Billy's handgun, just Rebecca's. And the way to know the difference is hers will say stars on it. And you can examine it to check that. Go ahead and shoot these dogs. They will die pretty fast with the back numb. And they are down for the count. Don't worry about anything in this train car besides this little ring that we're going to combine with the briefcase. Perfecto. Let's get it going. And we're going to go ahead and pull this little lever. And then we're going to switch back to Rebecca and she's going to grab the hook shot. We're going to be using Rebecca the most with this playthrough because she has to fight all the bosses. We mostly just have to use her for the bosses, but I'm just going to stay with her for most of the majority of the time. And then make sure you're a team and, uh, no, not that Rebecca, wrong thing, go through the door. Good Rebecca. And then we're going to continue on through this little part. And there we go, unlock that. And we're going to go ahead and enter it and there should be a zombie that's going to pop out. We're going to kill that zombie with our magnum one hit shot any zombies that's in your way just shoot them because they die in one hit with a magnum and you have infinite ammo such a powerful weapon soon billy's gonna have a magnum too but that's towards the end really shoot him with billy's submachine gun he really does take out the zombies really easily too so really nice to have that and then we're going to use the hook shot right here I'm not directly in the area there we go now let's use it okay we're lifting up up and away we go and then we're going to continue and we're going to hop down the next hole we see Perfect. And then we're going to shoot the zombie in the head. Instant. And pick up this jewelry box. And we're going to examine it. We're going to examine this jewelry box. Open it. And we're going to combine this to the briefcase. And then we're going to examine this and open this briefcase to get this little, little tiny card on the bottom of it. Ah, we're almost done with the train already. It's only been 15 minutes, almost 16. We're doing great. And then we're going to meet up with Billy. 
meet up with that convict. Don't you love the little splashy motion that the dishwasher does? It's really nice. Shoot his head off. He's down for the count. It's like gives it a little, little, like awesome background noise. Now we're going to go ahead and use this key card on this door. Awesome, awesome sauce. Now we're going to enter this door. Throw away that key card, we don't need it anymore. These guys will animate, but we don't need to kill them. Now we're going to enter here, and this time we're going to leave Billy behind. Um, you can leave Rebecca, it doesn't matter who. Um, we mostly need her for the bosses, but I'm going to stick with Rebecca for a little bit. For the rest of this playthrough, practically. So we're going to switch to... We're going to leave Billy. Billy, you're staying behind. Let the woman handle this. Pick up this black keycard. And then let's go ahead and leave and head to the end of this train. Down this way. And I will see you at the very end of this part. And shoot right here. There will be a zombie there, don't change screens, there will be a zombie. And we're going to enter this and shoot any zombies you see. So, there will be a lot of zombies in this part, so... Shoot them all, shoot them all dead. Okay, right here, we're going to use the magnetic key card, and if it says um, 36, you're going to hit um, 7, no, you're going to hit 9 and then all 3's, so this is 36, so 9 and then all 3's, if it's, um, if it's 81, um, you're going to hit nine and then all eights and if it's 67 we're going to hit four and then all sevens and then not if it's 81 nine and then all eights so it's going to be like that perfect billy's down now we're in the mansion the train took us 20 minutes we're right on schedule to get an s rank we're going to beat it by a lot, so don't worry. We're going to probably get under a little under two hours. So. Now we're going to go to the mansion. Right up here, Rebecca. Let's go. There we go.
And if I'm too loud, just let me know. I'll turn down my mic. Um, but sometimes I'm a loud guy. I'm a loud guy. There we go. And I'm going to switch to, um, actually it doesn't matter who you are. I'm going to be Rebecca. Um, Billy just takes more hits. If you're afraid to get hit by the crows, you could go in as Billy. Um, but I'm going to go in as Rebecca because I trust myself to get out as fast as possible. Get this little um, handle that we need. And then crows will burst in and then run to the door. Perfect. And now we're going to go ahead and enter this door right over here. The, um, the, I believe it's the reference room. I could be wrong. Some type of room that we're going to enter. Remember, no saving, so we won't be saving it at all. And here, we're going to go ahead and kill some zombies. They're right here. Ah, oh, I killed two of them at once. Nice. Two zombies dead at once. Now, we're going to go ahead and go right here, and Billy, you're going to go ahead and, um, you don't have the, you don't have the handle, Billy. What are you doing, Billy? Grab the handle from Rebecca. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and use that. Perfecto. Becca, you're being lifted up. And there will be two cockroaches here. We're gonna kill them both with the Magnum. Everything dies in one hit, practically, with the Magnum. Besides the hunters, the hunters die in two hits. There we go. Perfect. And here we're gonna run for our lives so we don't get hit by the bats. Let's go, Rebecca. Or, not bats, crows. Crows. Right in here. Now we're going to go ahead and head to the big door and we're going to leave the hook shop behind. Not that way, Rebecca. This way. Let's leave the hook shop right here so we don't have to have it for now. And then right down here. Perfect. And now we're going to go ahead and open, or go through here first. We're going to kill the two cockroaches and grab the black statue and the grenade launcher. Not black statue, white statue. That's what we're going to grab. Right here, the white statue. Now we're going to leave, and we're going to unlock the door for Billy, so Billy could come down here, and so we could fight the centipede boss. Right here, we're going to get Billy the Magnum to fight the Sandpeed boss in. 
perfect. Okay. And the same P boss is going to be pretty easy with the Magnum. It's going to die pretty fast. So, first things first, we're going to go ahead and you start this machine and switch to Rebecca to grab the key that has been revealed to us. Let's go, Rebecca. Let's go, Rebecca. Now we got the key. And now let's go ahead and fight the centipede boss. This is the only boss that you could kill with Billy because you have no other choice. You have to. Um, it won't be counted towards the boss trophy. Um, it's exempted from the boss trophy because you have to kill it with Billy. Um, you have no other way around it. But every other boss is fair game. So. Okay, now we're going to leave that. We're going to keep this. And let's continue on. We're going to go down. Stupid camera angles. Let's go. Perfecto. And now we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go ahead and grab Billy's lighter. That's what we're gonna do first. Okay, go ahead and grab Billy's lighter and combine it with this lighter fluid so we can use it. And then let's go ahead and exit and we're going to go upstairs to use it on another door to grab the white wings. Let's go. Actually, first we're going to go this way. We need to grab the black statue first. And there will be some zombies in here, but the Magnum will dispatch them pretty easily. So, let's go ahead and in here, kill the zombies, and grab the black statue.
Okay, and here we're gonna go ahead and use the lighter and um, we're gonna go ahead and grab the white wings for the white angel. So we can um, put this on the scale. Um, you could come in here two at a time. No, actually, you can leave. Yeah, you both could come in here. It's fine. And we're gonna go ahead and dispatch these zombies right here. Okay, and they're dead. Leave Rebecca down here so she doesn't get in the way. And um, I actually make her run to the door sometimes. Um, with the other end lock stick, I make her run to the door so I could get out pretty fast and efficient. And there we go, we got the book. Now we're going to switch back to Rebecca, call Billy, and then exit. And you both should be out here. And then we're going to examine the book and combine it with the white statue. Let's do that. Okay, and now we're going to the last red room. Um, this one we're going to use the facility key. We don't need it no more. Throw it away. And I leave Billy by the door so you can exit pretty fast. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and push this to the end. And you gotta turn on the light because if you don't turn on the light. Um, you won't be able to grab it because apparently Rebecca can't see in the dark. So go ahead and turn on the light and push us to the middle. There we go, Rebecca. Good, good. You got it. Let's go. Push it to the end. And then we're going to climb and grab this awesome clock handle. Clock on one of them. Perfect. And now switch to Billy, call Rebecca, and leave. Make like a treat and leave. Perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the clock cam. We're gonna go ahead and use Rebecca during this time. Okay. Now first we're going to put one um, put the white angel on here. Let the scales juggle itself. Then we're gonna use bit we're gonna go ahead and go to this door, we're going to go to the place where we fought the centipede first. It's a pretty slow game. Leave Billy by the door. And make sure you have the clock hand on you. Which I'm pretty sure I do because she's the one that grabbed it. So, And now we're going to go ahead and use it. Okay, use the clock in right here and 
it is going to be 815. So the minute hand on the three and the hour hand on the eight. Let's go. Okay, and go ahead and turn to Billy, call Rebecca, and enter this door, and you save that trip coming down here. Now you both should be over here, through this door. Go ahead and go through here now, because we need to grab one of the, um, whatever, whatever it's called, um, magna film, or something like that. Kill these zombies, there should be about like three or four of them here. Um, just keep on aiming and you, um, if you aim onto one then shoot it. Grab that. And grab that. We're going to use Rebecca to go use it. Let's continue. Go ahead and leave Billy by the door for a quick getaway. And you're gonna go in here and we're gonna use these films on the projector. Okay. And there's a zombie there, you don't have to kill him though. Go ahead and use those. Once it says insert another, insert another. Okay. And this is going to be for our next puzzle. Grab that. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and exit this room. Oh yeah, there will be a leech monger here. Um, mimicry of Marcus. Okay, call Rebecca and leave. Make like a tree and leave. Perfect. And now we're gonna go ahead and go up. And we're going to go to the next puzzle. We're gonna go to this, um, Conference room. I believe that's what it's called. Conference room. Okay. We're going to use Rebecca and we're going to go up here. Because she has the, um, the thing we need. The MO disc. And it will tell you what you need. We need 2D. Perfect. And the way to find this out, I will show you. Um, go to your inventory files, and go to microfilm um, image, and two is right there, and D is down below. So I'm going to go ahead and use Rebecca right here for two, and then. 
going to go up and use Billy on D right here. And you have to push them in order, so two first. And then D. And it should open all those doors for us. Okay, let's go ahead and enter this door as a team. Ah, I forgot Rebecca. Rebecca, come hither. Can't believe I forgot Rebecca. Make sure you call your team over um, before you enter the door. And now we're going to go as a team. and shoot these zombies and then enter this I think I forgot Billy this time that is unfortunate yeah I forgot Billy but it's fine we don't need Billy in this room grab the um, napalm rounds And then Rebecca, go ahead and push this little chest piece right here. Wow, well, look at those muscles, Rebecca. Perfect, and bring it down. And to have that touch them, we're gonna grab the black wings. And go to Billy and combine the black wings with the black statue. And into this room alone, and we're gonna go ahead and kill these zombies. Okay, and we're gonna grab the green chemical. You can grab those blue herbs if you want, because we are going against the spiders. If you don't trust that you're not gonna get poisoned. Um, this is the hardest part to not use a herb on, but if you, um, but it should be easy with the magnum. You most likely won't get poisoned. And now turn this Billy, call Becca over and leave. And then go ahead and let's use the black statue. We're at, 40, we're at 45 minutes right now. It's pretty nice. Okay, and use the black statue. Yeah, we have plenty of time here. And then we're gonna go down and fight the spiders. Let's go ahead and fight the spiders. Um, you can leave Billy here if you want, but I'm gonna take him down. Um, and we're just gonna shoot each spider that comes at us.
Now in this room, we're going to go ahead and leave, and we're going to go ahead and give Rebecca a boost. Um, and this time we're going to give, um, we're going to give Billy the Magnum, I believe. Yeah, let's go ahead and give Billy the Magnum. Because he's going to be alone, and we're going to go ahead and go save Rebecca. Let's go push her up. Let's go, Rebecca. Becca. And then we're going to tune this up. It's going to be up, up, down, and up, up. Up once. Up twice. Down once. And up, up. Nice. We're going to get this. And we got it good. And now we're going to go ahead and go save Rebecca. It just In this door, we are going to go across a monkey. We're just going to run past the monkey. So just run past him to the door. And right through here, we're going to run. And we're just going to keep him right in. And just follow my lead. Now right here, we're going to go ahead and shoot some monkeys. Shoot this one. And I just run and I shoot that one. And I just run until one comes at me. They take a while to come hit you. So as long as you just see them really fast, you should shoot them. Um, and there's three of them in that room. And now we saved Rebecca. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Hello, Becky. I'm here to save the day. Now a bunch of cutscenes here. And now we're gonna continue on. See, we have 50 minutes now. Perfect. And then there's more spiders here, so um, if you still have blue herbs, you can um, use them if you get poisoned. I didn't grab any because I'm not planning on using them. I don't get poisoned at all. Because at the Magnum, I killed him instantly. There we go. There we go. That spider was annoying. Once you start touching your hips, you pro you're most likely poisoned. We're going to go in here and grab the key really fast. The key to get the custom parts. So we can um, use it on um, Rebecca's um, gun. Shoot those 
cockroaches. And let's go ahead to the next room. Now up here we're going to go ahead and um, open this with the key. And we're going to open this um, case to get the custom handgun. And then we're going to go ahead and use it on Rebecca's gun. So let's go ahead and go. It will be code 385. Like that. Yeah, come to dad or mama, really. I'll give it to Rebecca and we're gonna combine it with that. Now you go ahead and drop it. We don't need it anymore. We just need it for that one little thing. Give that to Billy so you can combine it to his rocket launcher. And then we're gonna combine that with that and then drop the grenade rounds. Nice, it comes infinite ammo for that. And now leave Rebecca up here. And Billy's going to come down here. And we're going to go ahead and grab the blue key. Do left. And then we're going to run to it. And then we're going to do center. Perfecto. And then we're going to run to the next bars and hit center again. And then once you press this button, two hunters are going to appear. Um, right when um, you get control of your character again, you're going to want to um, aim and shoot right away. And I usually back up a little bit because another hunter is going to hit you. Bef um, before even it gets into screen. Shoot that one. Back up a little bit. Shoot that one. And they did that instantly. Awesome. Grab the blue key. And let's head back to Rebecca. Perfect. And once you reach the door, call Rebecca over and then enter it. Okay. Come on, Rebecca. Let's go. And now we're going to go to the blue door, so just follow my lead.
Okay. We're at the blue door now. This is the it for that video. It will continue on through that blue door for the next part. So I hope you guys like this video. And I hope you like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time next video. Peace. Subscribe.